Hey everyone, um, I'm going to try to make this quick, but I had a sister in Christ email me this morning. Now this is, this is not topic that I usually discuss. I had to do a little bit of research. I watched other people's testimonies, videos, and their success or failure stories. On the topic is long distance relationships. A sister in Christ, she said I can give you her first name and that's it. I'm going to respect her privacy. Her name is um, Nancy. And she told me that her boyfriend accepted a job in another city. Now, keep in mind, she lives in New York. He accepted a job in Los Angeles, California. And she asked me what were my thoughts on long distance because she said he's been gone for six months. At first he was Skyping her, texting her, emailing her regularly. And it's gotten to the point that the Skyping, the calls, the texting has dropped from every day to twice a week. When she tries to chat with him, like on, I'll give you an example, on Yahoo Messenger or Facebook, she sees him online and then she messages him and then she says he ignores her. Okay, look, honey. Sister in Christ, if you're watching this, um, I'm not going to sit here and say that long distance relationships are bad, okay, because couples have problems, and first of all, make sure you're not living together because it's not of Jesus Christ. The Bible does talk about courtship, courtship, you cannot have sex outside of marriage, so let's just get that clear. You can court a male suitor. Anyway, um, I'm not going to sit here and say long distance relationships are bad, okay? I'm not going to sit here and say that because every couple has their problems. Even couples that live together and under the same roof, meaning husband and wife, or couples that are courting each other that live within each other's vicinity, locally, they face problems too. So I'm not going to sit here and say that long distance relationships are bad. You do have to put in the extra effort. You know what I mean? So things don't fizzle out. But honey, in your case, if he's Skyping you, if he went from, if he, if he was Skyping you and texting you and emailing you and it went, it went from daily messages to like, to talk a couple of times a week and then to one time a week, honey, I think that's a big hint that he lost interest. And he's not into you anymore. And you don't deserve that kind of treatment, baby girl. You deserve a man that's going to treat you right. And you deserve a man that is, first of all, strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's going to treat you right. That's going to be respectful to you. Because I understand what you're saying, that when you're in a long distance relationship, you text them all the time. If fine. It only takes two texts, two seconds for him to text you back saying, you know, hi, I hope you're doing okay. I'm busy right now, but I will call you at such and such time, or I'll text you in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I know where you're coming from, but if he's not texting you at all, and it's hours or even days, baby girl, that's a big hint that he's not interested. And if you see him chatting online, and then you message him, and he's ignoring your messages, girl, he is not interested in you. He's not into you, and you don't deserve that kind of treatment. You deserve a man that's going to love you for who you are. And treat you with respect, baby girl. Okay? And and my thing is this. Don't ever kiss no man's butt. Excuse, excuse the expression. Give all glory, praise, and honor to Jesus Christ. Okay? God will heal your heart. It might hurt now, but your best bet, if he's not responding to you, is to just cut ties with this guy. Because if you wait until later in the relationship, a year, two years... It's going to hurt even more. It's better for you to find out now that he's like this than find out later after you marry to this guy and then you get a divorce. Or you have kids with him and the situation's even worse. Long, not, not, you know, long distance relationships is not for everybody. You have to have patience, diligence, discipline, and trust. And you have to keep the lines of communication open. And with long distance relationships, you know, 
one of you have to have a game plan for it to be successful. You know, okay, fine, you're getting to know each other year, you know, for three, four months, whatever the case may be. But eventually, that time's going to come when you're going to have to talk about are you going to relocate to his place or he's going to relocate to yours. Okay, I'm not, and so for those of you that are in long distance relationships, ask Jesus Christ to give you strength. It is not easy. Um, ask God to guide you. But if you are in a relationship where you're putting in all the effort and the other person's not, kick that person to the curb because you deserve much better. You deserve, for the guys, you deserve a girl that's going to treat you with respect. For the girls, you deserve a guy that's going to treat you with respect. I was doing research on this, you know, in my prayer closet with the Lord Jesus. I was doing research on this. I was talking to um, people that are currently in long distance relationships, a couple of my coworkers. I was watching YouTube videos on people's success stories and failure stories. A lot of people that are thriving in a long distance relationship, their thing is that they keep the lines of communication open and they trust one another. Given all the crap that's out there, how messed up it is out there, sometimes it's nice to have that connection. Besides having a relationship with Jesus Christ, sometimes it's nice to have that connection with that special someone, okay? And you don't want to mess with all these fools out here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you just want to make sure that you, you know, if you're in a long distance relationship and it's strong and it's thriving and it's, and it's, it's blessed by God, Keep the lines of communication open and know that if the long distance is tough, Jesus Christ is going to guide you and he's going to reunite both of y'all. But if you're in a situation where one person is not communicating, he's ignoring your texts, your Skypes, your email messages, your messages on, you know, online, then that's a problem, baby girl. That's a problem. That means... That he's not into you no more. He's not interested in you. It's better for you to find out now than you to find out later on down the road. Because if you wait to find out later on down the road, it's going to become painful. And if you decide to pursue a debt and relationship like that, where you're putting in all the effort and he's not, you're just going to put yourself on an emotional roller coaster ride. You're just going to hurt yourself, baby girl. You're going to hurt yourself emotionally. And for those of you, that are in a long distance relationship and things are going okay, give the other person, you know, keep the lines of communications open, but don't, don't be like clingy and don't sit there and stand by your phone or your computer waiting for your significant other to call you or text you. Okay. Because if you're doing that 24 hours a day, then you got issues and you need to go to Jesus Christ for counseling. And you need to get you a life outside of your laptop or your phone or your computer. Long distance relationships is a temporary situation, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's meant to be. But then you two got to make a game plan. If you don't have a game plan, well, if you're going to move to his place and he's going to move to yours, then your relationship is going gonna, it's, it's gonna to fail. You have to have a game plan. The basis of a long distance relationship is so that y'all would grow close emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Okay? So that way, you are both prepared to take the next step, which is you go to his location and he goes to yours. And remember, the Lord does not endorse you living together outside of the covenant of marriage. Okay? I'm just saying. So baby girl, if you're watching this video, I hope it gave you guidance. I hope that you, that you are blessed. And I hope and I pray that Jesus Christ brings you comfort. Because based on what I've seen in your email, it seems like you be staying by that computer 24 hours a day. Or by your laptop or by your phone waiting for this gentleman to Skype you or email you or message you or call you. That's not healthy. Get a life outside of the computer. If he's not putting forth the effort, then kick his butt to the curb and find you a man that will appreciate you for you. And that's most importantly, strong in the Lord. That being said, you ladies and gentlemen, take care.
Remember, we are in the last days. I don't usually talk about topics like this. Sister in Christ asked me to talk about it. Remember, do not, do not fornicate. You cannot live with one another outside of the covenant of marriage. The Bible talks about courtship. David courted his wives before the Lord. The, the Lord is selected suitors for David. Three wives, I believe, two or three wives he had. David courted them first before he, the Lord actually united them in marriage. And David, who was the king of the Bible, did not have sex outside of marriage. All right, so I have to um, run some errands. So, Sister in Christ, I hope this video blesses you, and I hope that you hear what I'm saying. Um, I can't force you to listen to me. That's essentially your choice. Okay? Long-distance relationships is not the problem. Okay? A lot of people have negative thoughts about them. It's the two people that cause the problem. If you don't put forth the effort, it's not going to work. If you don't have a game plan or where you're going to settle down, it's not going to work. Okay? But he, it sounds like he's enjoying where he's at. He's not tied down to you. He's not, he doesn't feel guilty because he doesn't see you no more. He feels as though he's living a single life that he's not in a relationship anymore. That's the impression I'm getting, that he's not... He doesn't want to be tied down to you no more. He doesn't want the relationship anymore. He just he's just not telling you. So your your what you need to do is to ask Jesus Christ for strength. Pick up the pieces and move on, baby girl, cuz there are plenty of men out there for you to worry about this loser. Okay? Take care.